So this is the Ikea PAX system. This is the complement pieces. And I am gonna show you guys the three pieces that I have. Let me see if I can pull them out without making a mess. So I have three drawers, well, inserts like this. Two this size and the third one is a tad bigger. Well, a lot bigger. This here is the larger version of the um, this one. The reason why I like having these is so that I can lay my glasses out and see them and not worry about the case. I can actually put the cases in here if I wanted to or actually leave them in their case, but I prefer to have them like this so I can actually see everything. Just pull out the drawers and kind of go from there. It's the same way how I have my jewelry. I don't know if you guys can see that. So the same way I have my jewelry is the same way I have my glasses. If you have the Ikea packs, I would 150% recommend you getting these inserts. They do add up in price. What people don't talk about is the Ikea packs itself, the actual shell of the closet is not expensive. That's the cheap part. The rod is even cheap. I think the rod is like $5 or something like that. Each section, I think the largest is like, I'm gonna say 150. I don't even think it's over that. Don't quote me, but let me just double check. I don't think so. Um, which is why I think a lot of people do end up getting the Ikea packs. So the 39 inch one is approximately, where's the price at? You know, cause sometimes, okay. Oh, 160. That's the deepest one. And then that's the, this is not even the tallest one. That's the 79, 79 inch one. And then the tallest one of the 39, 170. They might have went up slightly, um, but that's the 92 inch one, which I'm probably gonna switch mine out. They do have two new colors. Let me see if you guys, you guys probably can't even see that, but they do have two new colors, which are pretty, really nice. Um, if I were to remove the carpet in this room, I would probably change the color to the taupe color one, you know? But anyway, um, this is a good way just to organize your pieces in your wardrobe. You can put belts in here, you can put jewelry in here, you can put gloves in here, anything that you deem as a part of your accessories and something that you have to look at every day to complete an outfit, get you these. But today's video, we're gonna go through my glasses and organizing my glasses in here. Like I said, I already have started and I thought it would be a good idea to share everything that I have in here. I do not have a huge selection of glasses. I have a ton of glasses that are considered like specs because I do wear contacts and sometimes I do want to wear something that is, I don't know, like, these are these are considered shades. Well, I guess they are. These are my Eliza Johnsons. I guess these will be considered shades because they do have a light tint, but something like this, I would definitely keep in the drawer. I did pay full, full price. I think I got like 10% off, nothing crazy. <laughs> but this is where I keep my glasses. Regardless of the price of the glasses, the price of my belt, I keep everything in this drawer. I'm gonna just go through everything and organize my glasses while I chat with you guys as to why I like to keep things organized in my closet and how it helps me get dressed every day. I have said this to people so many times Having a closet or anything in your dressing room that is organized, it helps getting dressed a lot faster. It helps you not get frustrated and it helps you know what you have and what you don't have, period. It sounds very cliche, but that is the truth. You won't overspend on things that you already have, okay? Let's just get into this. So I'm just gonna start just throwing some of my glasses and talking to you guys about the glasses. This is not a full glasses review video, but it's just more so how I keep everything organized. I kind of just look at my glasses, make sure nothing is like scratched and stuff on them because sometimes I do go outside and forget my case and I have to throw them in my bag. So um, I did get rid of some glasses that I broke and was holding on for dear life, hoping that I can get them fixed, but I couldn't. 
These are my Fendi glasses. I told you guys I got these from the outlet. Very, very nice pair of glasses. I like square glasses because they just look better on my face. I've showed y'all these a ton of times. <laughs> love, 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 love these glasses. These are my key glasses. The reason why I got these as opposed to the Dior ones, I didn't know if I really wanted something this color, but I actually like them. Um, and these are the Sweetie collab ones. Next pair of glasses I'm gonna be throwing in here and organizing is going to be my aviator glasses. Uh, if you like really large aviators, do not sleep on key guys, okay? Cause these glasses were super cheap and like super, super cheap, okay? I think they were like, honestly, I purchased them, but I think I only paid for one. Either I bought all three of these at the same time and one was free because I remember the checkout. My bag seemed off, but that's because I got one for free. So just keeping them, regardless of the price of my glasses, I'm always gonna keep them organized in a location where I can get to them easily and add it to an outfit. If you have the space for an Ikea pack system, Definitely get it. If you don't have the space for the deepest one, go for the more shallow version. Um, if you don't have space for the widest one, go for the one that is a little bit smaller. Three different sizes. Trust me, you can make it work in any space with a little bit of brain work. <laughs> I purchased these like, oh my God, so long ago from the outlet. One thing about these that I don't know if I'm 100%, I haven't gotten rid of them yet because I don't know if these are still really my style. Because sometimes, looking in the mirror, I feel like I look like a beetle. <laughs> and I think I like square glasses more so. And I feel like they're kind of sitting on my face kind of, I don't know. But I have like three, two of the same kind of like style. I have them in black, and then I have them in this pretty green color, which I actually like the green for whatever reason, but they're essentially the same exact glasses, just two different colors. You don't have to spend a ton of money on glasses to create like a collection. Um, so even if you're organizing your glasses, I would say regardless of the price of your glasses, if you spent your money on it, organize it. Put it in a place where it's secure, it's clean, it's free of dust. You may have to dust them off occasionally, but keep them in a location where they are good. The worst thing you wanna do is not know where your glasses are when you really need them. Okay, girls? <laughs> These are Chloe glasses, the same as the other two, just a different shape and color. I like these. The color, it's kind of like a mauve, I guess you would say. Mm. More of a mauve, mauve. I like them. And again, the outlet. So it, regardless of how much you pay for them, you just want to keep your glasses in a place where they are, you know, good, safe, secure. Um, Actually, let me slide these back here. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, let's slide these back here. I'm trying to organize in a way where the ones that I wear the most in the front. Um, Celine, love, love, love these. These are so gorgeous. Very simple, very classic. I think these are a classic pair. A nice classic pair. These actually feel a lot bigger on the face than those other ones which I actually like. So, organizing my glasses, guys. Listen, this is a short video because I was just actually doing this anyway and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So again, the reason why I like to keep everything organized is so that I know exactly where everything is at. If I misplace something, um, I didn't put it back. <laughs> Simple as that. I've always been that way, so I've always been the girl who never really liked things out of order. Some may call it a neat freak, but I just say it helps me in my day-to-day. -day. Like, it doesn't mean that I don't have one or two things that may be misplaced, but keeping things in order for me, especially when I'm getting dressed, is my 
kind of like secret weapon because everything has a place. You can say a hundred times, you're not gonna keep buying things if you don't have the space, but we still do. It's just what we do, right? We see something, we're out shopping. We're like, oh, this is really nice. I guess a really good way to not overspend so you didn't have to, I guess, buy other pieces to store your stuff is to kind of do like the one in one out rule. I've talked about this before where you buy something and you take something out. Realistically, we would love to do that, but sometimes we don't, okay? But this is how I organize my glasses, and this is all types of glasses. So anything that could possibly be like a speck, like these Eliza Johnson glasses, these I'm still gonna put in there as well. These are so nice, guys. Like, she did her big one with these. They're very, very nice. And they kind of remind me of those, just a smaller version of the ones that I showed you guys last week. Two different style of gold frames. One was like a hundred and something and the other one was gifted. So gold glasses, really nice. With that being said, comment below if you do have any questions on keeping your things organized and tidy, especially your accessories. I think this is just a really good way that you can see your items so you could actually wear your items. A lot of the times we buy things and we never get to wear them like literally we buy things and then we're forget we forget that we have them so i think this is why a lot of women are opting to turn bedrooms into full closets so they can actually see what they have if you cannot see your items you're going to forget about it and you're not going to wear it period okay just a quick video on how i organize my glasses and why i keep them organized and why you should too Trust me, it's a lifesaver. You can do a lot with these pull-out complement um, inserts, and you can do a lot with the drawers. You can do a lot with all of the pieces that you can add into your IKEA packs. For me, I chose to put my sunglasses here and my jewelry. And um, I do have drawers here, but I'll show you guys that in another video. But just a quick way on how I keep my glasses organized. Again, every glasses in here is not super expensive, so you don't have to spend a ton of money to start building a nice little collection, guys. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style vlog and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style services, Coco Styles NY, and I'm on tickety, tickety, talk, Coco Styles NYC, until they get rid of it, <laughs> and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.